Hollywood is in shambles and it's not looking good for that much longer. Right, Kiwi? Right. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm here to talk about a topic that I'm pretty sure if you stay hip to social media, you know what's going on in the news, you see an article or so, you know what's going on in Hollywood right now and this whole writer strike where it's like some of our favorite shows and TV specials and movies that could potentially come out is on hold now because what? The people that write the episodes, the people that write the scripts, they're on strike because they're not getting paid enough. And this is the thing with this industry, Hollywood, even the music industry. You know how the people talk about survival of the fittest? These industries, like Hollywood, is survival of the riches. And we have a guest, my cat Kiwi. She'll be making appearances throughout the video. Y'all know cats do what they want. But like I was saying, with this industry of Hollywood, I have so many different takes on it. I want to know y'all opinions on it. Like, how do y'all feel that y'all favorite shows could potentially be blacklisted or put on hold? You won't see season three or season four until 2025. Like, that's where we're at right now. Our favorite shows and TV specials and some movies and all these different things that could come out is on hold because they're not getting paid enough. And this has been happening for years. The same thing with animation. All these different people behind the scenes. It takes a whole group of people to put a show together, to put a movie together. Of course, you have like the Steven Spielbergs and the this and the that and the Tyler Perry's. You talking about class? You got a lot of nerve. But the bulk of those people are not getting paid what they deserve. And they on strike. I don't blame them. I agree with them. You know, y'all gonna pay me what I deserve because without us, there is no show. Down like that, okay? <laughs> See, like, it's ridiculous. Honestly, at this point, it don't make sense. Right, Kiwi? It's crazy. Me and Kiwi can't even enjoy our shows no more. Like, a lot of them think that they're above the writers. Like, they don't deserve this, they don't deserve that. Because they're in a certain position where they can decide, oh, I want this, I want that. You don't want to do it my way? I'm going to find somebody else. Right, Kiwi? Kiwi. That's how a lot of them think, right? Right. Heck, that? Exactly. You think about it like a record company, like a record label. Without the talent, without the singers, without the songwriters, the producers, there is no label. But it's funny how the record executives are the ones with the most money, right? TLC. I mean, do I even have to go into it? You got the talent. They put in all this work, all of their talent into creating and showing off their art. To the masses, which a lot of people enjoy, but what happened? There's all these different things behind the scenes with the money. Of course, you want to share your talent with the world and you want to make it to that level in your career where you're getting compensated. But the monetary value has to add up. You know, you're making 2% of what the executives are making. Zero. 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 Why are all of these trash? Zero. And honestly, that's what any corporate job, right? Or just retail, fast food in general, right? You the ones doing all the work. We the ones behind the register, you know, flipping burgers, you know, salting the fries, taking orders, doing this, doing that, on the computer, whatever, right? Dealing with crazy customers. But the ones in the office that talk on the phone and have meetings all day, they making 30 times as much as us or you know the people that work in these several jobs so you just think about it what did y'all take on this whole writer strike in hollywood like i have seen and heard of different writer strikes in the past but this is the farthest i've ever seen it go to the point where this has been going on for months and they like you know we're not coming back some of my favorite shows i'm waiting for season three or season two 
And they're like, oh, coming in 2024 or coming this year. I'm like, oh my God. And this is another thing. How do y'all consume media? Do y'all still have cable? Do y'all, are y'all into, you know, this is the streaming era. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, uh, Apple TV, Peacock. Am I forgetting one? Of course I am. Tubi. Like, how do y'all consume media? Do y'all stream shows? You know, do you binge watch? Do you still watch cable? I mean, I do every now and then, but it's kind of like, I got like eight streaming apps. Disney Plus. I might get rid of cable because it's like, what's the point? I watch all my different streaming apps more than cable itself. And then cable is just reruns of stuff that's like, you know what I'm saying? And it's even a thing where I've seen an article about like some of the executives are like, oh, whatever, they can go on strike until they starve, until they become homeless. Like these big executives in these companies in Hollywood, y'all that greedy that y'all can't supply more money to the writers and the team of people that's helping y'all make money. Because like I said, Y'all executives, y'all not writers. Y'all don't know how to make jokes. Y'all don't know how to formulate a scene. But you're not gonna pay the people that do. And this relates to me personally because I went to school for media studies. I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in media studies. And you know, general media, TV production, different things like that. And even when, you know, Throughout the way, you know, family members, people in your neighborhood, whatever, they, oh, you went to school, or what you went to school for, what kind of job you got, da 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 da. And then you tell them media studies, that's a thing where people be like, huh, what's that? Or people be like, hmm. Some people get it, most people don't, when you say media studies, and I get it, but in a way, it's kind of like, if you're not a doctor, you're a lawyer, or nursing, or this or that, or becoming a teacher, or working with kids, then people are like, oh, people consider the arts a waste of time, right? Or you see that cliche that you see in TV shows and movies, ironically enough, where the parents want the child to get a real job. They want them to do a real major. They waste your time doing that art stuff, doing that writing, doing this and doing that, because that's not gonna give you a real job. But there are those select few that they make their way through these classes and courses and the hardships of college, like I did. And, you know, you get a job writing a show. You know, those, those that 5% that get that job writing a TV show or in Hollywood, they make it through the doors, they get that Broadway musical. But then what happened? They don't get paid enough. They get exploited for their talent. When you look at the salaries of these executives versus the writers who just asking for fair pay, it's like, yeah. I don't want to hear that. You writing big, you on a Netflix show, but you're not getting paid that much. You still living paycheck to paycheck. They go find some more people that just graduated college that's eager to get into the industry. Like, oh, Netflix, oh, Hulu, oh, Amazon Prime. And then look, a writer strike because they don't get paid enough. There's a hierarchy in Hollywood. Writers and the team of people that actually help to create the show a ocean level bottom. Honestly, it's tragic when you think about it. It's like these people that want to make a good living, a great living, you know, share their talents with the world, with these companies, you know, that rely on their talent because, like I said, these executives sitting in the office all day in meetings and business calls and all this stuff that make these major decisions of what show are they on the green light or what show is going to be on Netflix or who's going to be in this movie, who's going to right they making all these decisions the people that help to create the show help to write the scripts just asking for just a, enough money a little bit more money to help them sustain their lifestyle that they deserve you know writing these popular shows that trend in the top 10 on netflix all these watch hours garnering through hulu and amazon prime and stars and showtime and it's like, the executives and the higher ups are like, no. Oh, you going on a strike? All right, we'll find somebody else who will. Oh, how about this? How about not even finding somebody else that will? How about using AI? You remember I did that video? I did a video. I did a video a month or so ago 
about how AI is becoming more advanced, artificial intelligence, to the point where Hollywood, these executives, these companies are like, oh, these real humans don't want to write a script? We'll get an AI bot to do it. And what happens? The AI can take different shows throughout the last few years, right? You give it a certain prompt, and they create a whole new script. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. Oh my God, hold up. Give it characters, give it a setting, give it a scenario, and these AI bots can create entire Hollywood scripts. They won't even need writers. That's another reason why a lot of executives are like, oh, whatever, starve then, become homeless. We're going to use the AI bot. That saves us money anyway. You see what I'm saying? And another thing, to the point where like these actors and actresses that want to make it so big, and you know, only 1%, I'll say 2% of them make it to a level where they're on these high paying shows and they're actually getting paid what they're worth. Because you know, you see a lot of actors that's like, a lot of actors, y'all seeing TV shows and all this stuff, they live in paycheck to paycheck too. Now, they're getting a little bit more than the average person that works a corporate job or a retail job or whatever, right? But they live in paycheck to paycheck too because they're not getting paid. You can watch their show anytime on Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu, but they don't really get no residuals from that. I see the thing where an actor said they have a popular show on Hulu. They From the residuals, they only get like $600 a year. $600, not a month, a year. What's going on? Y'all are going to jail! Like I'm telling y'all, this is survival of the riches. And another thing with the AI, I seen an article where they were even talking about, oh, instead of using background actors, you know, the extras, and you know, booking them for more jobs, they can make AI models of them and have the background models become AI. Like using AI to take background models, background actors from different shows and movies and create replicas of them for another show or another movie. Where it's like now even background actors can't even have that type of career where they can like hop from movie set to movie set, TV show to TV show, building up their resume as a background actor before they become, you know, a lead or co-lead. They gonna use AI replicas of them in another show, in another movie. And then what happens? Because it's an AI replica, they don't get paid for that. It's their image, their likeness, but they're not getting paid because it's AI. Do y'all see how grimy Hollywood can really be? Or Hollywood is and has always been. More things are coming to the light. You know, back in the 30s, they had this stuff too. I'm pretty sure you look up a documentary and you look it up, back in the 30s, they had their own thing. Hollywood has always been a hierarchy. Hollywood has always been survival of the riches. But it's getting more exposed. And in today's technology, it's like, oh, whatever. We just use AI. We're going to use AI. We don't need you. Starve them. And it's like, wow. What are y'all thoughts? I really want to know. I just had to do this impromptu video because I've been looking at all these articles and seeing all these things. And I'm like, this could really affect the future of how we consume media and what we're looking at. We're thinking it's an actor or our favorite actor or a new actor. And it's really an AI model. It's really an AI replica. You just never know nowadays. You just never know. It's crazy. I really want to know y'all thoughts on this whole Hollywood writer strike and the potential that it could have on your favorite shows and movies. Now, of course, you got the big blockbusters, you know, Oppenheimer and Barbie and all these different movies and horror superhero franchises that's still going to come out, still going to make a lot of money. The Super Mario movie made over a billion dollars. Avatar made over two billion. Like, there's still franchises that's going to do good regardless. But with just a general consumption of media and how we consume it. And how long is it gonna take for it to come out for us to watch it and enjoy it? That's all crumbling down because Hollywood doesn't wanna pay the writers a simple pay rate of what they deserve making all these popular TV shows and movies. And I wanna know what do y'all think about that? Like, what is y'all take on this? And that's another thing where like going into media 
and trying to get a job in media, or TV production, and behind the scenes, and all that stuff and stuff with TV shows and movies. All these entry level jobs, they want you to have so much of this, so much of that, so much experience for an entry level job. But then it's kind of like when you get into the job and you see the pay, it's like you want me to do all of this and have all this knowledge and have all this experience for this pay. And do you see the executives or the ones in the office doing 40% less than what you do, but because of their position, they get paid 20 times more. And then you're like, is it really worth it? Honestly. And that's another reason why, while we got the good franchises that's doing good, we got a lot of movies that came out this year alone that have been flopping. And I mean flopping, flopping. Like flopping bad because of all these different things going on, and a lot of people are catching on to it. It's like I'm not going to the movies to see that. Uh, I can stream that later. And then when it comes on streaming, they never stream it either. What is your take on all of this craziness going on in Hollywood, and how it's a reflection of what happens in corporate America anyway? But with Hollywood, you get to see it on a wider scale. Let me know your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get this discussion started with y'all. This should be a really interesting discussion because I know all of us consume media in some type of way. You know, YouTube itself is a media, but I'm talking about with Hollywood and the TV shows and the movies and the this and the that. What did y'all take on this writer's strike and the potential outcomes that it could have or that it's currently having now? Please, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.